Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For those who are new here today, my name is Helen and for those who are returning, a great big thank you and welcome back. Now, I want to share a few things with you today. Um, a few of the items are thing, little bits and pieces that I picked up um, when I was on a recent trip to New Zealand. And then I want to show you some really lovely uh, bra and panty sets that I picked up at my first ever bra fitting and an explanation as to why I look the way I do today. Um, now, apart from a little bit of lipstick to make me feel human, um, I don't have any makeup on today and it's not a get ready with me video. It's just that I do have a few um, cuts and grazes on my face and I didn't want to put makeup on them um, while they're healing and stick around and I'll explain to you a little later in the video how I acquired those. Oh. Sorry, I just bumped my knee. Um, first of all, I want to start with showing you a few things that I picked up in New Zealand. Now, we didn't go shopping as such while we were there. We were more interested in experiences rather than, than shopping. But as you do, you know, I managed to pick up a, a couple of things along the way. So, um, the first couple of things I picked up was uh, while we were in Rotorua. Uh, we went to the Thermal Wonderland there, which was such an amazing experience. Um, I did vlog our trip to New Zealand and I will uh, link the videos down below in the description box. We got some amazing um, video and, and uh, pictures from the Thermal Wonderland, so check it out and have a look. But there was a little gift store there, as there always is in these places, and we didn't spend too much time in there because we did have a really long drive ahead of us uh, that day. So we did manage to pick up a couple of things. Uh, my partner picked up this little towel and it's it was so cute. Um, it says, you're a honey. And it's got this little bumblebee on it and heart. Isn't that adorable? And it's got this braid at the bottom and it's quite a, quite a decent size for a tea towel. So I'll just open that up and show you. So it is 100% cotton. And how much did this cost? This was 16 New Zealand dollars, which is probably a little pricey for a tea towel, but um, you expect to pay a little bit more for things um, in those type of gift stores. So I thought it was, it was sweet and romantic that he picked that up for me. So that was, uh, one thing we picked up in Rotorua and the other thing we picked up this Rotorua mud hand cream now the ingredients of this hand cream are Rotorua, the Rotorua thermal mud and I'll put a little clip of that bubbling hot thermal mud pools that are in Rotorua. So it's got the thermal mud in there. It's got green tea and chamomile. And I'll show you, I have used it. Now, I, I, my hands are in water, oh God, I couldn't tell you, 20 times a day. I love to hand wash everything. So, I do have a hand cream at the kitchen sink that I do apply every time I do wash up, wash anything up. 
So this is something that I apply at night. Now, as you can see, just put that down. It isn't really as thick as I expected it to be, but it does have some substance. And it's the color of the mud. And this cream, it really, really makes a difference. Now, it does have a scent and I can't liken it to anything, but it isn't an unpleasant scent. But, ah, oh, your hands feel absolutely wonderful. And it is for rough and damaged um, hands. So, and this is something that I would repurchase when I run out. Now, this was, I think it, it, it was just, just under $16 as well. Uh, New Zealand dollars, but I do think it's worth it. There it is, fifteen dollars ninety. It's still on the on the back. Um, I would repurchase this, and there were other products too, but um, I, I was keen to try the um, the hand cream. So there's our Rotorua mud hand cream. So that that's a really really good product. I'm glad I picked that up. Oh feels so lovely. Oh, no, I can't liken it to anything, I'm sorry. But like I said, it's a very subtle fragrance and it's not an offensive smell at all. It's not unpleasant at all. Okay, so the next item I want to share with you are these gorgeous earrings that I bought. And I bought those in Wellington. Hope you can pick up on those. at the Museum of New Zealand. And they're um, the Mount Cook Buttercup, which is the largest buttercup in the world. And it's found on these, they're found on the South Island of New Zealand at altitudes of seven, between 700 and 1500 meters and nowhere else in the world. So, I thought they were gorgeous and they're on a little hook so they do hang a little below your earlobe pretty much like these pearl uh, earrings sit um, and they are made of sterling silver and they've got a little little gold accent in the center I don't know whether you can pick up on those I, ho I hope you can just a little gold accent in the center of the flower and like I said, they are sterling silver with those little gold accents. And how much did I pay for these? I paid $44.90. And all the prices I'll be quoting today uh, will be New Zealand dollars. So, like I said, probably not something I needed or was looking for, but thought I'd have a little look in the gift store as we were leaving the museum and of course something caught my eye and it was these little buttercup flowers so they're gorgeous and I, I've already worn those I actually wore them out to dinner the night I bought them in New Zealand so they're my earrings and then Queenstown Okay, so in Queenstown, we did go um, on, the, on the gondola up to, um, we actually had um, a lovely lunch at the Stratosphere restaurant at the top of the gondola. And of course, there was a gift store up there too, wasn't there? Not that I needed anything from there either, but then I saw these really cute coffee mugs look at these look at all the shape on them how adorable I just couldn't resist so got the cuff coffee mug and also I got a few of the uh, Greek coffee cups the smaller coffee cups now I won't I won't unpack them all but um, I got 
some in that design because I love my Greek coffee and I got a few in this design too and they've got the um, kiwi on there which is uh, it says caffeinated kiwis so that's um, New Zealand's national um, little bird so I thought they were really sweet and I, I did buy some for myself and some for for my boys who also love Greek coffee so the mugs were $12.99 the bigger the bigger size mugs um, these individual little Greek coffee cups they were $12.99 as well um, or you could buy sets of two, which I also did, uh, for $20. So, there are our little coffee cups and mugs from um, the Skyline store in Queenstown. And then we went for a drive to um, Arrowtown, which is a quaint little town. Um, it's about a half hour drive from Queenstown and we actually, um, oh, it was so pretty there and I found this tea towel which I thought matched back perfectly with my coffee cups. So of course I had to have that too. And that, I mean, we were just, like I said, we weren't there to shop. Um, we were there just to have a look around because we were told that it was a cute little town and, and you know, we couldn't, you know, not go. Um, and that caught my eye hanging outside one of the stores there. And I thought, oh, my God, it matches my coffee cup. So, of course, I had to buy it. So how much was this one? This one was $13.50. And this one's 100% cotton as well. So that was from Arrowtown. And then on our last day in Queenstown, we were killing some time after breakfast because, you know, our flight wasn't for, you know, several hours. And we went for a walk down the lake and to the joy of the boys, there were markets down there and we had been down there several days prior and the markets were on that particular day too but it started to rain and you know all the stall owners were covering all their goods with plastic so you know unfortunately for them too it, it wasn't a very successful day so we were unable to to have a look around but as fate would have it, <laughs> the markets were back on this morning. So the boys found a bench to sit on and just enjoy the beautiful surrounds while I had a look. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't have much of a look because um, a lot of the, the stall owners were just setting up. Um, but I did find one stall that made handcrafted jewellery from flower petals okay so I found this really pretty necklace and it was really hard to to narrow it down because there were two or three um, that I did really like and this one is made using hydrangea petals I hope you can pick up on those. And of course, I picked the purple ones. And they are articulated, so they do they do actually move. So they're not sort of like stuck to each other. So you get a lot of movement from the, the pendant. And there's a little pearl hanging at the bottom. Isn't that gorgeous? So these are enameled hydrangea petals. 
and it is a sterling silver chain that they hang on now it's quite a long chain not not overly long not going to be able to do it up now fumbling fumbling so it's actually a really good length because oh this is such a busy pattern not really the ideal an ideal pattern for for displaying jewelry um but it's such a good length because even in winter you know if you're wearing like a a, a bit of a high neck jumper it will fit you know over that jumper so you can wear it but it probably probably look better on I mean you could change it and wear it on a on a shorter chain too if you if you wanted to wear it more as a choker style but I really like this length so what did I, I do you know I can't remember what I paid for this but it was roughly it was between 40 and 50 dollars New Zealand dollars which I thought was really really reasonable um, you know, for something that was handcrafted and the chain, you know, it was a sterling silver chain, the little pearl on the end, you know, I thought it was really, really good value. So I picked that up as well. And that's really all, all, all I picked up in New Zealand. Like I said, we were... We were more interested in experiences um, and we saw some some amazing things and like I said I will uh, link the videos down below um, please go on and have a look because um, it is such a beautiful country and the people are really beautiful too now next I want to share with you some bra and undie uh, sets that I picked up at a store called De Bras. Bras for everybody. And isn't that the truth? Because they actually range from a size 6 to a 36, A to K cup. How wonderful is that? How inclusive is that? And it was really wonderful to see so many beautiful um, pieces in larger sizes. Um, because, you know, you go to other stores and they've got all these pretty little things in all the small sizes. And then you get to the big sizes and... You know, some of the bras look like fan belts. But anyway, um, this place had so many gorgeous things. It also sold swimsuits as well. Um, so next time I'm after a new swimsuit, I know where I'll be going for one. Um, but it was, um, oh, so many gorgeous things. You could really do some serious damage in that store. Um, but I picked up three, P, um, three sets. Now, my assistant or um, the lady that did my fitting, the young lady, she her name was Louise and she was amazing. Um, she was so, so helpful. Like I said, I'd never had a bra fitting before. Um, she took her time. She, I didn't feel rushed at all at any point of the appointment and... Um, Yes, I was buying the wrong size bra. So, um, yeah. So, I'll just show you what I picked up. Um, so, of course, I was attracted to the purple set, wasn't I? So, I'm just going to put pictures up here so you can see what they look like on the model because, um, needless to say, I won't be... Uh, modeling these um, so the first one was this purple one gorgeous lace um, you know the matching undies um, 
Now the bras did go to a size 34, obviously not in every style, but in a lot of them. Um, the undies, I picked these up in a in an Oz 14, which is a an American 10, but their undies did go to a size 20, and some styles went up to a size 26. So not quite as high as the bra sizes, but um, yeah, isn't that wonderful? Six size six to 36. A to K cup. Wonderful. Okay, so this bra was $84.95 um, and the undies were $49.95 Australian dollars. You know, the bras are a bit pricey, but you know, when you're big busted, um, you do need to pay a little bit extra for your bras. Um, I I paid that and more for a good bra, so I'll I, I expected to pay that. So it, for me, it was just so lovely to be able to find pretty things. Now, the second set I bought was this, like a, like a gray blue color. I don't know how to describe this. And this one actually had this rose gold lace trim on it which I thought was so, so pretty. And of course, you know, matching bra and undies. So this bra was $89.95. Um, and once again, the undies, the undies were all $49.95. And the one thing I loved about their undies, they did have the high rise options to go back with, um, with, with the bras, which was wonderful. And the last one I bought was this pink set. Um, once again, the undies were $49.95. Lovely lace detail on these as well. Um, and this bra was also um, $89.95. So, yeah, really, really lovely. Now, I'll tell you what, what I really love about these bras. First of all, the straps. They're nice and wide. So they're not going to cause me extreme discomfort, which I've had with, you know, thinner straps on my shoulders. So first plus was the width of the straps. Um, obviously the fact that they're under wire because I need under wire bras for support. But the other thing that I really loved and all, all of these three and more um, came with it. And I'll just show you, I think I, okay. I will put a picture up as well. Now I have trouble, um, mainly with my right shoulder for some reason. I must be lopsided or something. The bra strap always, you know, slides off my shoulder and I'm forever, you know, pulling it back up, which is so damn annoying. And um, these bras, as you can see in the picture, you'll probably see it better in the picture than I can demonstrate, come with these little clips So you can actually clip that to the back of your, to the to your back, like you can see in the picture, and that keeps the straps on your shoulders. I mean, it's all there. That's also good if you're wearing like a razorback um, style top as well, and you don't want your straps showing, you know, or a, you know. But for me, that was ideal because I have purchased those little clips that, you know, go to the, you attach to the back of your bras that, you know, you can buy separately. But they're, they're useless. They're absolutely useless. They're, um, after a while, I find that they start digging into my back and, yeah, no good at all. But these sit so nice and flush and, um, 
keep those damn straps on my shoulders. So that was a huge, huge plus for me. Um, and I have since been on on their website because they do have an online you know store obviously as well and i have ordered three more sets but you know i'm set now for how long and you know i can be comfortable and look good too because a good bra gives you a better shape as well so you look better in your clothes um so they do ship, but unfortunately, they only ship to Australia and New Zealand. Sorry, big sorry for everyone else. But um, for my Australian and New Zealand friends out there, please go online. Like, I'd been meaning to go for so long. And the only reason it had taken me so long to get there is this is actually, the store is actually well over an hour's drive from my home. So, you know, hence the reason it had taken me so long to get there. So I, um, my girlfriend Janelle came with me. She was interested in having a look too and she picked up um, a few things as well. And um, a little story to end this video. Um, our day didn't end the way I had planned it to. Um, we were recommended to go to a, a coffee shop, which was a few doors down, um, for, for lunch. And we thought, okay, we'll go there and have a nice lunch and then, you know, make our way home. Um, the coffee shop was called The Blind Chef. And it was actually, um, it's actually owned by a young man who lost his vision um, due to two bouts of cancer. So he was a chef. He, he actually lost his first eye at the age of five. Um, and then he grew up, became a chef, loved his job, and at the age of 23, the cancer returned and he lost uh, the vision in his other eye. So his dream was to open his own coffee shop, which he did. And we had the pleasure of going and having a lovely lunch. Um, we had uh, some, a chicken schnitzel with prawns and prosciutto and a creamy garlic sauce. It was so good. And we met his guide dog, Rocco, who kept us company for a much of the time we were there, but he, he was so beautiful and so well behaved. Um, oh, and I have to share the mural on the back wall, which I thought was wonderful. Um, yeah, but unfortunately, as we were leaving the coffee shop, um, there was a, a landing just outside the coffee shop with a very, very shallow step which I totally missed and went flying. Um, now, I've made a, a terrible mess of my legs, which I won't show you. Um, took a few pieces out of them, unfortunately, and I did also hit my head. Um, that's why I've got the scratches down my cheek and the greys on my, on my forehead. I did have to go and see a doctor. Um, unfortunately, I didn't need stitches but um, my legs are bandaged. They're very sore, to say the least. Um, you know, they, I just had to have them cleaned because I, it was gravel I fell on just to make sure that they didn't get infected. So um, I didn't get bashed or attacked by anybody. Um, I, I just had a fall. So... I apologise for looking this way um, today. Uh, I promise I will make more of an effort next time. Um, but, hey, I'm fine, just a bit sore. As my son pointed out, Mum, it could have been a lot worse. You could have broken your hip or your leg and, you, you know, needed surgery and whatnot. So, thank you, God. 
um, that, yeah, that it was, this was all it was and, and nothing worse. So I'm fine. Um, this will all heal in no time. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what you have to do. Thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And leave a comment down below and let me know uh, what item you, you liked. And if, for, for all my New Zealand and Aussie friends, let me know if you have purchased anything from Debras and what your thoughts are. Um, so in the meantime, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Stay safe and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now.